welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vintage tips and tricks video and another installment in the 30 videos in 30 days challenge or Vader. It's about time I picked one of those, but I didn't. And oh my God, I have to apologize because I discovered, <laughs> I discovered like another inbox on Instagram today. Okay, so over the last kind of couple of months, my YouTube has grown a lot, obviously, and some of you guys have been like commenting on my Instagram pictures and things, which has been really cool, but no one has ever really messaged me on Instagram, and when they did, it was people that I had already connected with, like friends on Facebook, which allows your messages to come straight into the inbox. It doesn't put it in this like other messages box. So I did not realize that your messages were there. Please don't think that I was ignoring you or I didn't have time for you. It's not that at all. I just literally did not know your messages existed. So I found them today. I answered all of them. I hope I got to everyone. Now that I know that that is there, I will accept your message and let it through. <laughs> I hope you guys will forgive me for my like social media noobness. <laughs> But um, now that I know that that's how it works, I'll make sure to accept your messages and get back to you much, much quicker. Like I, I try to message as soon as I see your message or if I'm at work or whatever, like within one or two days at the most. So um, yeah, sorry guys. Today, if you watched my video yesterday, I am going to let you guys know how I created the sugar water that I used to set my hair. And that is the authentic setting method used in the 1940s by women who were on rations and needed to find a cheap alternative that they could make at home that allowed them to do their hair in the kind of hairstyles that we've all become familiar with. And also, hairspray wasn't invented back then, so they needed something else. I've been pretty impressed. I will let you know at the end of the video my overall thoughts, but I've been pretty impressed and I want to share this with you guys. Thank you so much to Eldajor and Noosh Boss for suggesting this to me because this is how I'm doing it from now on, like I swear to God. So good. So basically, I'm gonna go through the recipe. It's pretty simple. This is a kind of slapdash video because I worked all day today, but it'll give you an, a guys an idea of how it works and maybe you guys will try it at home. If you do, let me know. I love having chats with you in the comments or on Instagram. I'm really enjoying that. So feel free, don't be afraid to like contact me if you wanna just comment or if you have any questions. I think that's awesome. I really like that. <laughs> and feel free to tag me in any pictures and whatever because I, I like sharing what I'm doing with my style with you guys, but I learn a lot from you guys too. Like this is an example of something that I've learned as a result of connecting with you guys. So like I'm truly honestly interested in how your sets go and how you look and your style and stuff. Like I would love if you shared that with me. That would be really cool. So yeah, I hope this works for you. I hope you like it and let me know. Sugar water verdict, love it. So this is the next day um, after I made the sugar water and used it in my hair for my victory roll video. Then I spent the day in victory rolls and with my hair all pinned up, brush it out in the evening. The brush out looked really cool. Then today I did a really terrible set because I was in a hurry to go for work. So it was really ugly and horrible, but whatever. And then I've just brushed it out again. Like when I say brush it out, I mean, I literally brushed it. I made no attempt to make it look good or look vintage. I just brushed it and it literally brushes out like this because you guys can see because the lighting is not amazing because of the time of day it literally just looks vintage all by itself and the sugar water kind of acts like a dry shampoo so my hair like even though it's greasy it ha still has like lift and body to it so like yeah it's a really long lasting setting lotion that i really like and my hair doesn't feel damaged like it actually feels quite soft and silky and look at like the spring back on that it's really good i really like it so yes to sugar water I'm not actually going to do, I'm gonna stand here because my neighbors think I'm filming them and it's really weird because I'm standing in my window like shooting it and they're walking up the stairs coming home from work and looking at me like, is this perfect filming me? Not realizing I'm actually filming myself. But I'm not gonna do the beer thing because my set has lasted so long in the sugar water that I wanna kind of milk it and see how long I can go with it. I think tomorrow I'll probably have to wash my hair. I think it'll be greasy in the morning. But I will try the beer lotion after that and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I won't actually put that in this video like I originally said I was going to because I want to see how the sugar water goes first. So that will be a separate video. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me for ever. <laughs> 
Um, come back to my channel because I do have more videos, particularly vintage ones, coming up in the next few weeks. And after Veda finishes and 30 videos and 30 days finish finishes, I will continue regularly uploading. This has been great. I'm really enjoying it and I would like to continue. Anyway, I uh, will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Walk at me.